Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of Fearless Tarot and the upcoming Tarot and Love, Consulting the Cards and Matters of the Heart. I just got an early copy and um, I just want to show it off a little bit. I'm so excited. Um, the Tarot and Love book actually goes through every archetype in the tarot, every major arcana card and court card and tells you the personality traits of the person you're inquiring about and gives you some different ways to interpret a card in a love reading. So there's a section on new relationship, long-term relationship, the person's desires, intimacy, and also if you're seeking a relationship. And there's helpful advice at the end of each chapter, tons of spreads. I'm so excited to uh, introduce this and it's hitting shelves in just eight weeks. So if you want to grab your copy, head on over to wherever books are sold and order Tarot and Love. And if you do enjoy it when you get it, leave a kind review. And that is the last of the plugging of my book. Uh, now it's time for the Oracle reveal itself. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals and asked you to use your intuition and ask yourself which animal's calling to you because that animal has your message and the animals were the elephant the deer and also the parrot so if you're just joining me now ask yourself what animals calling to you because that animal has your message for those of you who pick the elephant spirit it says learn from the past and if you're attracted to elephant this might be a time to never forget it might be a time to look back at what wisdom you've gained on your path and also to look at even disappointments or challenges in the present moment in context and really look at how far you've actually come, what's actually come before this. Um, that can kind of put this into a, a little bit more of a perspective. First card for Elevant is where it's best to place your focus this next week. And we actually get the King of Pentacles. This is a card of success, but it's also a card of stability. And the King of Pentacles is telling you to have an eye on the long game. Just as the elephant has a long memory, so too you need to have long foresight. You need to look ahead and really see things in a more overarching context. So this might be a time to make plans for the next couple of years uh, or down the line instead of really looking at the moment and the current growth that's happening around it. And then the King of Pentacles also has to do with success and career, financial stability, or also planting the seeds and then tending the plants of your personal growth. And it's important that whatever you're working on right now, you're infusing it with love, positive energy, and uh, tenacity. Second, we got advice from your inner wisdom. Another Pentacles card, the Ace of Pentacles. We have the first card of the Pentacles suit and the final card of the Pentacles suit. So what does that tell us? It's telling us that there is something that is being offered to you as an opportunity for the elephant, and you want to see it through to conclusion. This is also saying that you will succeed with whatever you're putting your mind to at this time. And finally, both of these cards, if you look them up online or in a lot of tarot books, they represent financial success, security, stability. This might be a time to focus on practical matters, and that will be what really gets you through. And then the mythic archetype that's going to help you is Hemera. She's the goddess of rebirth and renewal. She represents day. That's what her name means. So this is a reminder that every day there is a chance for a new beginning. Every day you get to dust yourself off, get back in the ring, and really plant the seeds to future goals. This might be a time to remember the wisdom of the past in order to forecast the best possible future for yourself by the actions you're going to take right now. Because we don't always have control over what happens to us externally, but we do have control over how we're going to respond to it. So this could be a time of forward thinking, planting the seeds for the future, and also taking full advantage of the things that you're investing in for your eventual success. Next, we're going to go into the deer spirit. And this card says, bring a gentle touch. And deer is just so sweet. If you ever see one in the woods, they look at you with this complete innocence. And so deer could be a time when you need to tread gently on your own path. You might also want to let gentleness be the answer instead of forcing something or raging to make something happen. The deer is telling you, just take that uh, gentle approach. It just takes a little touch and you can change hearts and minds. Uh, the deer card can also indicate self-care, sensitivity, and it might be just a time to be gentle with yourself most of all. Uh, first card for deer is where it's best for you to place your focus. We actually get the six of wands. This is a card of self-esteem, and it's also a card of being excellent. 
it's time for you to rise above. Uh, the figure on the Six of Wands is crowned with the laurel leaves, and he's in a parade, and most of the people are cheering for him, and he's really dignified. He's like, yeah, I'm owning it. I totally bring this. This is what makes me excellent. And this might be a time as well for you where you're not buckling to external pressures, but you're really getting back to what makes you shine, what makes you excellent. It might also be an important time to promote yourself, promote your work, um, or also to really feel proud of your own accomplishments at this time. The figure on the Six of Wands doesn't need the parade to cheer him on. He doesn't need their validation. He's not even looking at them. And what this could indicate for you is that it's important that you're really keeping your eyes on your own goal and knowing your own excellence and just remembering that the cream always rises to the top. Next, it's advice from your inner wisdom. And look at that, we get the Queen of Wands. How striking, you know, two pentacles cards for the previous animal, two wands cards for this one. Wands are tree branches. They got the little leaves that spring out of the top. They represent growth. And two cards uh, in the wand suit here that really nail home the message of confidence. Confidence is going to be your guide for the dear people this next week. It's so important that you're really believing in yourself. You're really stepping up. You're also taking space. You're letting your voice be heard. Uh, Queen of Wands can also just indicate calling attention to yourself. She's the star of the tarot. She is the actress of the tarot. So this could be a time, again, when you're putting on a show or when you're attracting the right sort of attention to you. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you with that is actually Bellerophon. And if you look at the bottom of this card, it says humility. And Bellerophon teaches us to remember hubris, to not get too proud, to not kind of let some of this energy turn into arrogance. So there's this fine line between confidence, but then also conceit. And this might be a time when you're still humble about what makes you excellent. You're still bringing that gentle, dear spirit to whatever it is you're trying to call attention to in yourself. And it's coming from that genuine place. And then finally, we have the parrot spirit. And this card says, watch your words. And parrot is the mimic uh, of the animal kingdom. It just repeats what's told to it. So this might be a time of being very conscious of what you're being fed uh, by society, by messaging, by social media even, and don't just go on automatic, but really be conscious of what words you're saying. There is so much toxicity out there with what people spew out of their mouth, and it just poisons the well. And Parrot could be telling you to be very mindful of what messages you're bringing through, because the words that we say are carried on the winds. They reverberate for longer than just the moment we say them. They have an impact. First card for Parrot is where it's best for you to place your focus. And we have a strategy card. And the strategy card of the Seven of Swords could say that Parrot needs to be strategic about what they're speaking about, what they're calling attention to. This could also be a time when you're being strategic about your own plans, what you're articulating to others, what you want them to understand about what you're bringing. So I just feel like this is going to be a time of being very mindful for Parrot, very thoughtful of what's coming next, what you're declaring about yourself. Next, we got advice from your inner wisdom. And we get the Knight of Pentacles, which can sometimes indicate a bit of frustration. There's something that's stalled. It's not moving forward as quickly as you would like it to. The Knight of Pentacles is on that horse that isn't moving forward at this time. And yet, even though he's before those brown fields, there is growth that's happening beneath the surface. So I feel like there's some sort of a long-term strategy, might even be taking lemons and making lemonade out of it or trying to uh, alter a situation in order to benefit you in some way. That might appear stuck, but maybe there's a way that you can approach it with your voice uh, in order to benefit you down the road. And then finally, we have the mythic archetype that's going to help uh, the parrot, and we got Poseidon, the earth shaker. He's called that in, uh, in, in ancient Greek, enosigae. It means shaker of the earth. He brings earthquakes. He can bring shocking things sometimes, disruptions. And yet he is a very healing archetype because he gets you back in touch with that element of water, your deeper feelings. So it's time to be patient with what's shaking in your own life. Listen, be mindful. And before reacting to what's shaking, instead be thoughtful and be strategic with what words you're going to declare for yourself moving forward. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always check me out at elliotoracle.com. Also pre-order Tarot and Love, and I hope to see you again next time. Do take care.